Hello everybody, welcome back to the Antonio Neal channel. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, click all notifications so you can get updates on every video that we upload to our channel. Glad you are here with us today. So today is day number four of my no meat, no processed food journey. But really it's technically, well, day four in total, but day three when it comes to the video. So I'm gonna combine this video, day three and four of my journey. Um, it's been a good journey so far. I actually already feel better. I think I talked to you guys about in another video how um, just walking away from, uh, moving away from processed foods and seed oils, for some reason for me, one of the first things that happens for me is my lower back feels better, my knees, my joints, stuff like that. That's something that I um, always acknowledge when I first start pushing away processed foods. For some reason, my bones and my back and my joints feel better. Um, many times from the very start, like after a day or so. <clears throat> and so I wanna share with you guys some of the things that I'm doing. I've already shared some of these things on another video, but I decided to go ahead and share it today. So I'm definitely eating my, drinking my green juice. And this is a different brand. I think last time I had, I forgot the name of that, but it's the same thing, this green juice. 100% uh, in a juice smoothie. In this juice is pineapple, uh, apple juice, uh, mango, uh, banana, cucumber, um, kiwi, uh, spinach, broccoli, wheatgrass, garlic, and all that stuff. So this is one of my good juices. I think you get this for about $6. It was about 4 or 5 but stuff is going crazy in the market right now. So this is about 6 bucks. I try to catch it on sale if I can. But this is a good juice right here. Um, has some sugar in it, but it's not crazy. Again, it's better than a soda. Better than some of those other juices that I was drinking. So this is something that I've been um, messing with. And this is something that I remember that I had in my in my cupboard. And this is my mother's, my apple cider vinegar. My mother's vinegar. So I've been taking this. Make sure you shake that up. Get this goodness inside of you. This is good for digestion. All right. And over here in my little bowl here, I have, this is kind of like my daily weather. I, sometimes I cook these things and sometimes I don't. It just depends. I have some of my raw carrots, cucumber. I also have my apple. And yesterday, I must admit, tell y'all the truth, I had some corn chips, some tortilla chips. They're gluten-free, but this is on the borderline of this is processed or not. This is borderline. Uh, but you know, I'm trying, I'm trying. So that's kind of like what's been happening. And you know, one thing that I love again is about how I'm feeling. I got to, I got to show you guys that this is really a part of my life. I've been feeling really good, feeling so much better. I think in the first day or two, you know, I might've had a headache and my body was angry at me for not eating some of the sugars and some of all the other chemicals that's in some of the foods that I was eating. That's true. Whenever you're starting to not consume all the toxins and all the other things from your food, your body isn't going to be happy. And I've been drinking a lot of water. And it seems to me, um, because of the fact that fruit and vegetable has a lot of water in it, <laughs> if you're gonna do this on your own, I'm not telling you to do it, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, but I am telling you this. If you start eating fruits, raw fruits and vegetables and all that stuff, just be prepared to go to the restroom. Mm-hmm. You're going to go to the restroom. The body is going to start getting rid of some of that old waste. You know, your body is going to start all this water that's coming into you from the fruit and vegetables. Again, especially if you're doing it raw. This stuff has high water content. One thing that I'm trying to do is make sure I'm trying to be, bring my body back to alkalinity, right? an alkaline diet. 
Now the chips, are they alkaline? No. <laughs> I know that, but what I'm trying to do is bring my body up from um, dead things because, you know, at the end of the day, can we get life from dead things? No. We really get life from things like this. Something that had life in it. This was created by the sun, right? So this has the energy of the sun in it. Carrots, energy of the sun. Water, cucumber, energy from the sun. You know what I'm saying? The fruit that went in here, energy from the sun. And that's what I'm working on. Some of y'all hadn't seen nobody eat an apple in centuries. <laughs> And that's including yourself. So one of the things that I realized that when I start doing this, you have to really have self-control. You have to really have discipline because when you start eating like this, I'm telling you, everything starts showing itself to you. You're like, man, I want this food. I went to Walmart yesterday and I walked down the bread aisle. And this always happens when I do anything that I'm abstaining from something, right? So whatever the thing that you're abstaining from, it seems like that's the thing that you can smell the most, right? So I went down the bread aisle looking for something passing through. And y'all, I could smell all of the sugar that's in the bread. If you've ever done any other type of fasting, it's crazy how you can smell the meat. The meat smells differently. Um, you can smell sugar from a mile away. You can smell herbs and spices and ingredients and things. It is crazy, crazy, crazy. And so when I walked down that aisle yesterday at Walmart, I could smell the sugar. I mean, it was so sweet. And normally when I walk down that aisle, you know, I'm not smelling anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm just walking down the aisle, grabbing some bread, going on my way. Yesterday, and this normally happens for me after day three or day four, I start, uh, you know, just, just your senses go to another level because you're not partaking in that one thing that you were partaking in. So whatever you withdraw from, if it's processed foods, a whole lot of, you know, just sugar, because when we eat that stuff, our senses get numbed, right? We can't really taste it like an ice cream. One of the reasons why people really can't taste how sweet ice cream is, is because of the cold. And because of the cold, the coldness of the ice cream, you can't, your senses are dulled a little bit. So whenever you pull, whenever you're eating and overeating these items, your senses get dulled also, and uh, it's just crazy how the body is like wow, and you don't really know. We don't really know how sweet some of the things are that we're partaking in. So I just got a little bit of this left. I'm down to the dregs. This is something that I do to kind of. I don't like the way this tastes on its own, so I'm gonna put a couple of drops in there. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And I'm gonna shake this up. I just don't like that taste. Right? I'm gonna take my little sippy cup, little red cup. I was gonna drink it out of the jug, but some of y'all will probably say that's bad manners. So I don't, I don't want to ruin my reputation with you guys. But I would say happy drinking today. That wasn't bad, but. I definitely could taste it. <laughs> but that's the best way. That's a better way to do it sometimes. Some people like to drink apple cider vinegar straight. I do not. Put it in there with the green stuff. You can taste it, but it's not as bad. And I didn't drink as much as I did. I would normally do because I didn't have a lot of juice left in the, the jug there. But I just wanted to come and say day number four of my journey. Um, I'm happy about it. I feel good. I can feel my the inflammation of my body going down. Uh, being around, you know, people and things out in out in the world, people are just doing their own thing. Sometimes it can be a challenge, and I, and even though it's it's just day number four, I know it's gonna probably take me up to probably day number twenty one if I make it before things really get settled in my soul that you're not getting that. And I don't know what I'm going afterwards, and I actually don't know how long I'm gonna be on this journey. I just wanted to come and encourage you guys, um, those of you guys that are looking for alternative ways to take care of inflammation and maybe just feel better for a little bit. I was going to eat these carrots raw and some of this, this, this cucumber here, but I'm going to go over to the store and get me some hummus. I enjoy hummus. 
and this is one thing that I'm learning when it comes to hummus. I'm starting to read the labels more, right? Especially doing this. And one thing that you want to do, what I'm learning to do, is uh, look for how much seed oil they're putting in this stuff. What type of what type of oil are they including in the hummus, right? They're mixing it with something. Some some people use olive, some people use sunflower, some people use canola. I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm definitely paying attention if they're more than one oil in the hummus I know that that could bring a little bit of information to my life so into my body and so I want to steer clear um, as much of as much seed oil as I possibly can because I know you know it's gonna kind of like go against the real the reason why I'm doing this I want information to go down I want to feel better and through the process I want my digestive system to flow again like it needs to and also in this process I will probably experience some weight loss um, my, my clothes will probably begin to fit a little looser, and that's all a part of the process. So day number four is well on its way. I wanted to come and say hello and hopefully encourage a couple of you guys who may be on your own journey to feeling better and greater health. Again, I'm over 50 years old, so I have to make sure I'm paying attention to my body, and I can't ignore the things that are happening. So talk to y'all soon. I hope, to, I hope to update you on my next video, day number five. Peace.